On calls this their weirdest running shoe yet. It's also the softest shoe in their lineup. Today we're going to chat about what the On Cloud Monster is all about and why it's turned a lot of heads. On has been doing particularly well lately, but judging by the number of people wearing On shoes with jeans, I think it's a safe assumption that there's a strong lifestyle influence here. However, there's a shoe that's gotten people thinking more seriously about On as a running brand recently, and that is this On Cloud Monster. It's been one of the most raved about shoes and what some believe to be as the best newcomer shoe in the market. On have gained even more traction recently with the update of the new Cloud Surfer, which undergoes a drastic transformation from the previous model and has been received really well by runners. They've come off from a really good season in athletics on the pro circuit and their carbon plated shoes seem to be doing really well in the triathlon world. So we could be seeing a so-called tipping point for the brand, not in terms of trendiness because that's already happened, but in terms of technical product. So what's the Cloud Monster all about? Well, a lot of on shoes are on the firmer side of things, but the Cloud Monster is their softest shoe yet. It has 30 millimeters of stack cut at the heel, while 24 millimeters at the forefoot. So while it's well cushioned, it's not maximal like a Hoka Bondi, A6 Nimbus, or New Balance Mall. By design, the shoe has a soft and forgiving heel that visibly compresses easily at the heel, while a more firmer and responsive forefoot. The midsole shaping of the shoe carries a curved rocket sole, like many shoes do these days, except this one's on the milder side as it's less noticeable underfoot and won't alter your stride. Most rocket shoes in the market have a medium heel to toe drop to help you get this desired rolling effect and ensure that you're not heel heavy. The Cloud Monster is no different and has a 6mm heel to toe drop. The design of the shoe should accommodate for most foot strikes, but best suits a midfoot prominent runner over a heel prominent runner or a forefoot prominent runner. The Cloud Monster has a reasonably wide base of support that not only moves on away from being a typically narrow fitting brand, but offers the shoe a good inherent stability. As you know, the signature behind On Shoes are these cloud units, which they've patented and called their Cloud Tech. These units are made out of a foam called Helion, which uses EVA blended with a compound called 11 block copolymers that help bring out special properties out of the foam. Resting above the clouds is On's full length speed board that holds these cloud units together and offers some responsiveness to the shoe. Moving away from the midsole to other areas of the shoe, such as the outsole, and we'll have zonal rubber placed in our key wear areas that is three millimeters in thickness. This helps keep the weight of the shoe down by reserving uh, rubber in your key wear sites, but does expose this midfoot section, making the shoe less versatile on non-road surfaces such as trail. The upper of the shoe offers a nice airy mesh that is particularly accommodating around the midsection of the shoe that should accommodate for various foot shapes. The lacing system, although slightly unconventional, works really well to give you a nice lockdown and it works in conjunction with a thin tongue that is gusted that holds in place and doesn't cause any pressure above the top of your foot. This works in conjunction with a quite structured heel counter that holds your foot in place nicely, offering a more structured feel as opposed to a more free feel. The accumulation of all of these features gives us a really modest weight of 275 grams in a men's sample size, which is 9.7 ounces, or 230 grams in a woman's size, which is 8.1 ounces. This gives us a really good cushioning to weight ratio for a daily training shoe. In terms of sizing, the shoe is true to size. It offers a wider fit to on's typically narrow fit. It has a slightly broader midfoot that should accommodate for various foot shapes and even your slightly wider feet should get along with this just fine. So in conclusion, this is a fantastic newcomer to the market with a great cushioning to weight ratio. The key word to use when describing the shoe is fun. It's a fun but serious training shoe by On that offers a really good cushioning experience. It's not the most racy shoe in the market, nor is it extreme in the amount of cushioning it has underfoot, but it's somewhere between and it sort of can be regarded as a Goldilocks shoe. It's a top pick if you're looking for a comfortable daily trainer that doesn't hold you back if you're wanting to pick up your pace. It's also got a very stylish silhouette. I particularly like the marketing lead color in the shoe. I, as a neutral runner, have found the shoe to be pretty stable underfoot. On don't do stability shoes per se, but this I'd regard as a stable neutral shoe. The shoe is also a top pick if you're looking for a travel shoe to run in and explore a city in. This could be a great addition for that goal. 
You just have to be careful when taking the shoe off-road to avoid scuffing the exposed foam and reserve this only as a road running shoe. In terms of mileage, I'd regard this as a moderate mileage shoe. Sure, there's runners who are going to exceed this, but it's not one of those high mileage shoes that's going to last you season upon season of hard running. If you are a heavier runner or someone who's looking for ON's high mileage shoe, I'd suggest trying out the Cloud Stratus.